Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today in this video, what we're going to show you is how to perform the real-time face detection using your Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned. So to perform this face detection using Raspberry Pi, what you have to do is first of all install the OpenCV library. If you haven't installed already, we have made an entire video showing how to install this OpenCV library step by step. You can watch this video right here. Watch that video, perform all the steps, install the OpenCV library and then come back and perform these steps. These steps are fairly simple and not that time consuming. The OpenCV one are a little bit comprehensive and time consuming. So without further ado, let's jump straight into how to install and the entire process of face detection using your Raspberry Pi. So on your Raspberry Pi, open the terminal and the first thing that we're going to install is called Dlib. So Dlib is a library for real world machine learning and data analysis applications. So we're going to install it and the way that you install it is just by typing pip install dlib and just press enter and then it's going to take a little bit of time to install this entire library so yeah just wait it out and it will install on its own after installing dlib what we're going to install is pillow pillow is also called pil which is python imaging library and it's also known to open manipulate and save these files and images in an exceedingly different format so to install pillow what we're going to do is just type in pip install pillow and once you press enter, Pillow will be installed on your Raspberry Pi. The next thing that we're going to install is the face recognition library for your Python. And the way you install is just by typing this code. And that is pip install face underscore recognition space dash dash no dash dash cache dash dir. Just press enter. And it will install the face recognition library for Python onto your Raspberry Pi. The next thing that we're going to do is download the entire face recognition Python codes and everything. The link for downloading these files is down in the description or in our blog. The blog contains step by step of this whole process and also proper explanation of the codes. So if you want to just know and understand the codes, you can check out the blog. The link is also down in the description. So to download, just open your browser on your Raspberry Pi. And over there, just paste that link that we have provided in the description. It's a GitHub link, it'll take you there. And once you're there, just down, go to code, download zip, and it'll download the entire thing. And once it's there, I'm just gonna press this and show in folder. So if you see over here, face detection Raspberry Pi, just have to, I'm gonna extract it here and then copy it onto my desktop of my Raspberry Pi. Just gonna close this yeah. and then just control V and there it is on my desktop. So the next thing that we're gonna do is inside that folder, I have renamed that folder to face underscore recog just to access it better and easily instead of that long name that the folder has. Once you've done that, just open that folder and you have to create a new folder inside of that, which is uh, create new folder, I'm going to just create face underscore images and inside this is going to contain all our folders of photos. So let me take one of Robo and the other of let's say Virat Kohli. So inside Robo we're just going to paste our photos and inside Virat we're going to paste Virat Kohli's photos so that the algorithm knows that Robo contains our photos and when we show our face it's just going to identify as Robo or your name and when we show Virat Kohli's face it's going to identify him as Virat. So yeah create these two folders with your name and someone else's name be it your friend or another celebrity that you want to try out for your project. If you can see here I have just pasted nine photos of myself and nine photos of Virat. The more photos that you put in, the better it is. Put in at least a minimum of seven to eight photos and a maximum of how many ever you want. The more, the better. Once that is done, go to face underscore recog dot by, open it. And if you see in labels, just put in your name and the other person's name, in this case, Virat. And uh, just save this thing. Is it? Save it, close it, and we're just gonna create an array now. So this is the only change that you have to do in the entire code. We're now just left with the final few steps and these are the only important steps. Now you just have to write some code inside the terminal to create an array and just to open your camera. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just open terminal on your Raspberry Pi. And once you're there, just type in cd 
desktop slash face underscore recog or the folder name that you have saved it as. Press enter. Now you're just going to directly access the folder from your terminal. So once that is done, just type in python face underscore trainer dot pi and this is going to create an array with the python folder that is the face underscore trainer pi python folder just going to create an array with your photos and the other person being the celebrity or your friends photos and what you're going to type now is python space face underscore recog that pi and what this is going to do is just open the camera if you can see on the screen right now it is identifying my face and Virat Kohli's face with the names on top of each other's and that's it that's how face detection on your Raspberry Pi works it's fairly simple it's fairly comprehensive a little bit longer process but then once you're done and once you follow these steps step by step properly face detection on your Raspberry Pi will work without any hassle and without any errors so that has been it thank you so much for watching that is how you perform face detection and if you like this video and if you enjoyed it found it informative leave this video a like comment down below what other type of projects and videos would you want to see from us and subscribe if you already haven't coming up with a lot more videos and that has been it thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time